Hello? Hi, is this Jessica? Uh, yes, it is. Who is this? Hey there, Jessica. I'm sorry to bug you when you're not in the office, but my name is Casey Ryback, and I'm calling from Human Resources. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. What is this about? Well, uh, again, sorry for taking up your personal time. I know you had the day off today, but I wanted to talk with you for a second and see if we could rectify the situation that's been going on. <laughs> what, uh, what situation? Oh, you're not aware. I thought Marcy had spoken with you about it. I have not spoken to anyone about anything. What's, uh, what's going on here? Um, well, uh, this could be a little uncomfortable. I thought you were aware, but to be blunt, some of your coworkers have complained about you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Com complained about me? What, uh, what have I done? Well, they weren't complaining about you as a person necessarily. Uh, how do I say this in a right way? Uh, your fragrance. They've been complaining about your fragrance. My fragrance? Yes, your fragrance. My perfume? Or do you are they saying that I, that I smell bad? What well, well, they are saying that you smell bad, but I don't think it's because of body odor. Yes, the perfume, if that's what you call it. Uh, whatever you put on as a scent, it's very overpowering. I don't even, I, it's, it's just one, one spray in the morning. It's not, the, it's not even that, who, uh, can I ask who, uh, who's making these complaints? Well, now, all complaints are anonymous, you know that. But some of your coworkers have reported migraines just being around you, um, <laughs> developing allergies. It's not good. We've gotten quite a few. This is ridiculous. I don't even wear it every day. When I do, it's just a little squirt. Like, I don't, this, there has to be a mistake. Well, it, it must be. something else going on here. It must be some pretty powerful stuff, whatever. <laughs> It is that you're... No, ex ex excuse me, excuse me. I'm telling you the truth. It's only a little bit. It's just, it's nothing overpowering. Okay. It's something that anyone could ever yes. get. Yes, sometimes when people are guilty, they tend to scream the loudest, and that's what it sounds like you're doing right now. That, oh, okay, all right. Mm -hmm. That yes. is not what is going on here at all. I have told you the truth. You are uh -huh. choosing not to believe me. Uh-huh. Well, I'm choosing to believe the numerous complaints that we've gotten. I am really angry about this. Well, you should be. I mean, they've even developed a nickname for you the office. Oh shoot! I wasn't. No. I wasn't supposed to share that part. Can we forget that? No, we can't forget that. You cannot drop bombs like that and then just walk away from it. Well, the problem was I was reading my report and I saw the name that they call you, and then I, it slipped out of my mouth. I didn't want to bring it up to you, so let's just Don't, do not do not laugh. Say my name. Well, they call you the pungent princess. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, and th they also call you Madame Stinks a lot. <laughs> that those are a couple that I've seen. I think you are having way too much fun with this. No. You're over here getting your rocks off, making fun of me, calling me names. Well, no, this is now. This is so, those what? those are names that were brought up by other people. I accidentally shared that with you. I didn't mean to do that. I know you're from HR, and I know I can probably get in trouble for saying this, but you're just. Oh, you're slimy. You're just like a little weasel. Just... I suppose slimy is better than smelly. <laughs> isn't that's it? Not, but that's not funny. Oh, it was a little funny. That's not funny. You aren't either. And I'm going to need to talk to your supervisor. Well, you can definitely do that. My whole point of this was just to let you know that the company has chosen to ban you from the elevators until things change. So no elevators. Oh, hold on. I'm going to use the elevators if I want. I'm on the seventh floor. You expect me to walk up seven flights of Good. stairs? Good, good. You know where your office is. That's great. <laughs> I'd hate for you to take the stairs to the fourth floor and then get lost. You are a condescending little <laughs> How dare you talk to him? This is not how you speak to other employees. Well, I think we were pretty fair in not firing you. Go ahead. Fire me. Find some stupid reason to fire me. I'm going to sue this company, and I'm going to take you for every penny. You shouldn't sue this company based on a prank phone call. You really shouldn't. I don't recommend that. Hold on. Wait. A, a what? A prank phone call. I don't think you should sue the company based on the fact that this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Your coworker Morgan set you up. Wait. Wait. Are you kidding me? No. It's a joke. Oh, my God. I can't believe I fell for that.